next week, dozens of those license plate readers, they will be installed along Interstate 96, as well as the Southfield Freeway, where we are right now. Uh, many communities, many businesses, they are already using this type of technology. Michigan State Police now joining those ranks in hopes of cracking down on crime. If people don't feel safe, you know, on the freeway, if people don't say feel safe in their neighborhood, nobody's going to want to live in Michigan. A new tool will soon help investigators see what is happening on Metro Detroit interstate so they can get a head start on solving crimes that happen there. A Michigan State Police pilot program is now putting license plate readers up along the Southfield Freeway and Interstate 96, two areas that have experienced a rise in reported freeway shootings and other road related incidents in recent months. It will allow the investigators to go into that database that's only kept for 30 days, um, uh, to go into that database, take a look in there, see what vehicles were in that area that matches that witness description, and then they'll be able to investigate those cars further. First Lieutenant Michael Shaw says if this technology was in place last week when the body of a 22 year old man was dumped on the northbound Southfield Freeway near 96 on the city's west side, perhaps they could have identified the vehicle involved more quickly that eventually led to first degree murder charges against Ray Quinn Patrick. The license plate readers are similar to what's being used at toll booths to catch drivers who blow through them without paying. They do not have any facial recognition capabilities whatsoever. All it does is take a picture of the license plate in the rear end of the vehicle. Um, it doesn't give register owner information or anything like that. That's something that those detectives will have to go into to kind of look at um, and try to find suspects for it. Crews started installing dozens of these license plate readers this week. We could eventually see them all over Michigan, from the Ohio border to the Upper Peninsula and everywhere in between, helping to curb crime and keep those behind them off of the streets, driving results immediately. So as technology gets better, you know, we use it to, to fight crime and make our cities and our state safer. Now we are told that these license plate readers will likely be installed along the various interstates and freeways around the state in the next year or so. And as you guys know, this alone is not going to stop crime. People, they need to continue to step up and share what they know as well. We are live in Wayne County. I'm Robin Murdoch for Fox 2 News. Yeah, Robin, such a useful tool in uh, catching people responsible for these road rage incidents, these shootings, but also hopefully this will be a preventative tool as well. And people will say uh, and think twice, look, I, I do know that someone, as in the authorities, has a shot of my plate. Uh, maybe I'll just back off a little bit. <laughs> And I think that right there is kind of uh, the goal here as well, uh, twofold to help, uh, you know, catch these criminals who do these types of things on the interstate, but just to be proactive. And yes, for people to realize there are uh, there are these license plate readers out there. If I am uh, doing something wrong, my chances of getting caught are uh, several times greater. So hopefully uh, it will help reduce crime around uh, the city as well as around the state in the coming year.